We got some money. And honey, you know I like that. You use them for working out, I think. Like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, wow, look at that. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. What's up, Locker Nuts? Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this big 10x20 locker through an online auction site. It was close to my home, filled with great looking stuff, and I really wanted it. I had to pay a whopping $3,010 for it, plus buyer's fees. Immediately, I was in for my first surprise, which was finding out that this is my old storage unit that I had vacated about a year ago. How nuts is that? I'm hopeful to turn a profit on this one, but it's going to be tough. Luckily, I've been pulling out some decent items so far, and this adventure has barely begun. Let's continue to dig and see what other goodies turn up. All right. Hmm, this is neat. This doesn't look good. Got all kinds of weird stuff in here. Oh, bummer. I thought it was a back box of gloves, dang it. Well, anyways, we're getting to this box here. We finished going through that. I put the stuff back in. Ah, Sony camera. Hmm, cyber shot. I hope we find that. Pirates of the Caribbean, Disneyland. Shout out to uh, Storage Auction Pirate. <laughs> oh, okay. Got a few hats here. Right, Golden State Warriors right there. That's a nice hat right there. American flag, can never go wrong with that. Ensenada, Mexico. Oh boy, okay. What appears to be towels and rags in here. But then look at the bottom. Oh ho ho! Just in the bottom here, guys. That's why you gotta check every bag. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Ooh, check this out. <laughs> that's so cool. I love it. We got some money. Mm, honey, you know I like that. I actually thought this locker was going to be a little bit nicer than it has been turning out to be. I thought there'd be a little bit more expensive stuff, and I actually thought that, I don't know, just thought it would be in better condition. I'm not complaining. Uh, we're finding okay stuff. I don't know if I'll make the money back, though. Not from what I've seen. But um, I really thought this was going to be a little bit higher quality locker. That was my read on it. Not yet. Okay, there's what we found so far for change. Keep that over there. Let's keep going. Death Coast Supply. Worst of the worst. Dirty Bird Society. Okay. Five hour energy. This guy. All right, here's some of those. I think these are therapy bands. Like, you use them for working out, I think. Like, oh. Well, that might be pri past its prime if it's going to rip that easy. Pump for an air mattress. Hmm. There's a whole bunch more of these little. I think these are to do with the smoking paraphernalia that we're finding. I don't I don't really know. It doesn't have an odor. I can't tell if they've been used, like whatever's in there, if it's been used up. Or if they're empty and haven't been filled yet. I don't really know. What's this? Blue cookies. Cultivation date, packaging date. Put that aside. We just got to get to the bottom of that. We got to figure out what those are. Body lotion. Yeah, here's some more bands. These are workout bands. Let's see if these will... Rip on me. No, those are pretty good. We've got some rocks, shells, and whatevers. Okay, here's a big Texas instrument calculator. Yeah, I think that might be a good one. TI 83 Plus. I think that's a decent one. Alright, guys, not too much of the good stuff in there. I did find this Wii. Uh, manual, instruction book, operation manual, whatever. I uh, found a bunch of the paperwork and the CD and stuff for this Sony. Still hope we find that Sony. And then this little power supply. Hmm. I was hoping it's for the Sony, but it's probably not. It's just something else. Found a key. <laughs> okay. You never know what that's going to be, too. A couple brand new postcards from Hawaii. And that's about it, guys. Not very much at all. All right, but we're not giving up. We're going to keep going. I'm gonna keep going. It's a decent amount of stuff here, and I do see a lot in the back, but it's not going as good as I hoped. I'm just being honest. Okay, those two we saw in the first episode, those were 
when I climbed the top and was looking down on it. Okay, here's a glove, Easton. I'll have to look that up. Is that Mako? Mako? Easton Mako? Feels like it could be worth something. Here's a little Air Jordans. Uh oh, no tag inside. What's that about? Oh, it looks like it's worn off. Here's the mate. Five and a half youth. Hmm. I'll look those up. Here's the legs to probably the couch. Yeah, this looks like the kids' shoes. Bands, those are kind of cool, aren't they? Got the little shuriken filling stars. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? Green gas. I don't know what that's for. But I know what that's for. It's for airsoft guns. And I know what that's for. That's awesome. Airsoft gun stuff. Just a bunch of stinky shoes. Alright, let's look, let's go over here. Okay, the tape. It's a nice tape gun. Empty the tape, so to the flea market. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That's an iPad. But the glass is cracked. That's not necessarily terrible. Ooh, that oh man. See that? Dang. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's still sellable for parts. We'll have to look up and see what the model number is. That's going to make a difference. Okay. Silver Snowflake Treetop. That's kind of nice. I didn't get in here before Christmas, obviously, because I left all this Christmas stuff. Elves at play. Elf stuff. These are kind of cool. Look at that. Oh, he's a fat elf. Neat. There's another one. These are the elves on the shelf. Elves because they're weighted. Icicle lights. Oh, those are purple. See that? I don't know if you can see that, but there's a whole bunch of purple lights. There's a bunch of Christmas stuff. You know, I'm going to put those back. They're not going to sell super duper good here on uh, December 28th. So most likely what I'll do is I will put this stuff in my locker. I'm kind of thinking because I have so much space in my locker. I'll sack it away in the back and uh, save it for Christmas next year and see if we want to use that for our own personal decorating. That's my plan. That's, that's my plan. Oh, what do we have here? First of all, we got a remote. Most likely for that uh, remote control car. That's really good. What's this? Uh, it's open for a Oculus Utopia 360. It's nothing that big of a deal. This is where you put your phone inside and you do the virtual reality. That seems like a little bit nicer one though. But, um, yeah. Whatever. There's anonymous mask. Can you tell me where the bar is? I'm just kidding. Um, this is funny. This is for like if you have a, you know, a bar in your home. It has a four-hour daily timer, so, <laughs> you know, if you're getting drunk often and forgetting to turn the light off, that's a good feature to have. Uh, what's this one saying? I see a J. I see a D. I see an and. J and D. We mark it. Resolve. Car stuff. Oh man. Yeah, there's some tape right there. Oh, and some ranch dressing. Yeah, okay, there's a little bit of tape. Let's see if I can show up the bottom of that box for your tires. Make it look wet. Also not a problem in December. Dash in glass. Interior, detail. Yeah, tire foam. Plastic restoration. This is good stuff. This is good right here. Um this is actually coming home with me. I don't think I have one this size. Yeah, that's a nice, really nice bit right there. Okay, oh, these Lego sheets I think are good. Let's sell. Oh, there's another dime. And check this out, you guys. We actually do have some gloves in this one. This one isn't filled with garbage. We actually have some gloves. That is a... Well, it's a good thing, good thing to keep it in the car. If I can get it in the car. There we go. Alright. And the dime will go right there. Oh, there's a blade for cutting steel. Hmm. Put that aside. I don't think I have one of those. 
All right, guys, I've got about oof, about 20 to 30 minutes left here. Let's we'll go through those. I think I want to I want to see what's in there. I do. I want to see what's in there back here. I see some books. I'm not liking that stuff that much. All right. Dang it, this doesn't look much better. Got these shoes. These are kids again. Youth size. Fairly well worn. I don't even know the brand. We'll put that in the shoe bin. We'll take it to the flea market. What do we have here, though? This feels a little bit nicer. Um, okay, we got a couple, couple of purses here. First up, we got some coax cable. Let's go to the flea market. Oh, there's a guest bag. That's not bad. Let's see if we got any goodies left behind. Any forgotten treasures? It's got a little staining in here. They did a pretty good job of cleaning it out, unfortunately for me. Okay, that's too bad. That's actually a nice, pretty nice looking bag. Just that staining on the inside is kind of throwing me a bit. All right, well, I think we'll bring it to the flea market. Star Point, cool little backpack. Again, it's empty. What do we have here? An outlaw in his beer. Blood pressure monitor or gauge, that's what it is. Blood pressure gauge. Nope. Nike shocks. Huh. Are those anything good? They look kind of funky with this part right here. I've never seen that before. I don't really shop for shoes very often. They're used, but they're not in terrible shape. Ah, oh, man, there's a bunch of stinking shoes in here again. I don't see good ones either. Oh, wow, look at that. Some Minecraft guy. I don't know what that is. Alright, looks like kitchen. Looks like kitchen stuff here, guys. There's... Di Cake decorating. What's this? A little apron. And cake decorating. Got sprinkles and stuff. There's a Vans bag. Is there anything in here? And junk mail. And then, what's this? Starbucks mug. Wow, that's a nice, really nice uh, pepper mill. <laughs> like, super nice. Yeah, same with that one. Very, very nice. Carbon steel grinder, wow. Fancy, fancy. Okay. So I'm just looking at what his silverware looks like. It's pretty decent. Let me take that home and see what the wife says. We're getting a little bit low on silverware. I'm not exactly sure where our silverware goes, but I know that it's leaving the premises somehow. <laughs> it probably sounds like a weird thing to talk about, but it really is happening. All right, Locker Nuts, let's see where we're at so far with the finds. Let's take a look. Okay, so first up, we got that the Hero BMX bike. Kind of funny, I didn't think too much of that, but getting a lot of comments from people saying that that's got some value. Those can be kind of pricey. So I put 100 bucks on it. It might be worth a little bit more. It won't be worth too much less. The Ribeiro skateboard, well, I've already sold that for 50 bucks, so I'm putting 50 bucks on that. It may have been worth a little bit more, but eh, it took about four or five days to sell on Facebook, so it wasn't like a super fast seller. I think I priced it right. The Bose Solo 5, 80 bucks. I might keep that one. The Apple Super Drive, 20 bucks. I've already got two. The Traxxas Easy Peak, that's 40 bucks, sold on eBay. Crosley Retro Phone, 40 bucks. The KitchenAid Mixer, I thought that was 100 bucks, but this model is a little bit better, and this is a $200 model. That's sold price on eBay. The HP Color Laser Jet, <laughs> I had a feeling that might be nice, and 220 is the selling price on those. The Traxxas frame, the RC car, I'm not really sure how to price that. I'm putting 200 bucks on it. It might be worth more, it might be worth less. Um, there are some add-on parts on it, and I have some other stuff like batteries and such. I think I'll get 200 bucks. Power washer, 50 bucks. The giant mountain bike, I'm also not sure exactly how to price that. 250 is what I'm putting on it. I'm gonna wait till spring to sell it, most likely. Spectrum, the little controller, those go for 70 bucks. The GoPro Hero Session, I think it's 60 bucks. I can't tell what model it is. 
If it's a five, a uh, Hero 5 or newer, it's worth a lot more, but it looks like it's worth at least 60 bucks. The Craftsman Jigsaw, 70 bucks, it's brand new. And the Rigid Vacuum, I'm putting about 50 bucks, it's used. So that puts us a total of all the big items so far, 1500 bucks. And that puts us halfway back to break even, and we barely even started. But you know what? There's one more item we got to check out. Let's do that right now. Okay, guys. Dun, 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 dun. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. This is $109. It's a replica MVL Marvel Legend Punisher helmet. It looks like they bought it at GameStop. And $109. I looked them up and brand new. They're like $130. You can buy a brand new one right, right now. Um, what? Okay, let's get taking the batteries out. Oh man, it's all scuffed up. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to look. Oh, whoa. I'm just looking over because you can't really tell what is, uh, <laughs> what's, uh, you know, supposed to, like, this stuff is supposed to be there and what might be there from, you know, misuse. But I think this is the way it's supposed to look. It's pretty dope. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> what's up, Locker Nuts? I was hoping a dude, like, voice. A voice thing but pretty cool pretty cool I do like it you can see through this and it is like a red tinted lens Jeez, this looks so cool I think that's gonna do it for this video I think that's a wrap I can't say we found great stuff today but we found stuff today we did find hundreds of dollars with the stuff the mountain bikes great still have a lot of stuff to get through so I think that's gonna do it for this video it's really hot in this helmet <laughs> <laughs> does this constitute a mask for covid can i go in a safe way like this um anyways guys thanks so much for watching the video next one will be out soon until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts so this is another of the ironies of how the storage world works oh, I'm so i was so excited to get this because one of our viewers asked me to find one of these and uh Day after I bring it home, Camille breaks our bowl because ours is glass. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to keep it for a backup. It's fine with me. You can keep it so you have two. Because but... I could use two sometimes. And it's black and white and it's the same. I'll just still order my clear bowl, but now I got my attachments. Those are 50 bucks. Wow. So. 50 bucks. <laughs> Saving money's making money. Unless your wife dibs your $100 sale, then we're not making money, but. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy right now. Good. Then that's priceless. Oh, <laughs> that is gross. There are teeth in here. I heard something jingling around, but I already wasn't thinking teeth. I don't know why. I should probably learn by now, but. What the heck is this for? Is that... Is that real cool?